Today we are going to install a Super Shields pro protection sheet or an iPad onto the screen of my brand new out of the box Sonic Mighty 4K. Um, the reason we'll do this is to protect the glass. There's, there's, there's the screen. There's already a glass protector on here. You're going to see in a second, but it's just one more layer of protection so that if the FEP ever does, you know, leak, tear, puncture, pop, whatever, burst into flames, it will protect the actual, even the protector, and keep the and the and the screen below the protector that comes with it, just so it'll be an easier cleanup and it's not going to get in and destroy the screen. Hopefully, and cost me, you know, however this, how much the screen costs, two, three hundred bucks probably. So I've taken uh, screws off of our vat I've taken the vat off this is the plastic vat that comes with it which doesn't feel it's actually pretty sturdy um, plastic it's not flexible you know bendable like it feels pretty good but I'm gonna replace this with the aluminum vat that I bought when I purchased the printer in a minute but this is what it looks like so this is the screen you can see this black kind of like electrical tape it kind of sticks up kind of weird um, I got the idea or I got the I got the tips on how to do this uh, from a YouTube channel called true elite geek I'll put a link to his channel in there but uh, he does this he has videos on how to do th this model and he also does it with a, any cubic I think LU too he's so he's kind of the guy that inspired me to put this level of protection on my um, on my printer uh, and I figured like I said brand new these sheets there's three of these in here and they're they're like you know, seven bucks each, or sorry, there's seven dollars for three of them. So I, I really couldn't see not doing this. Uh, the instructions on here are pretty straightforward. Have you ever had a, st a screen collect, uh, screen protector? You've seen the instructions. <laughs> uh, real basic. We're gonna clean the screen with a cleaning cloth, and then we're gonna put it on. I'm not even gonna do rubbing alcohol or or, or the, or the um, what do you call it? The I have these for my because I wear glasses. I have these like lens wipes that I was gonna do lens wipes on. But this him is brand new. <coughs> Excuse me, it's brand new out of the box. So I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit and see how that looks. There's actually a little bit of there's like a scuff mark here um, on the on the but it's on the protector and I don't even know if it's a scuff mark or it's just a reflect. No, it looks more like a reflection, but it doesn't look like it's hurting anything. Um, I've I don't know if you've if you've done any 3D printing. I have printed with vats and screens underneath that were beaten, beaten, beaten up and just with 2K screens and gotten very good results. Uh, so I'm assuming we're gonna be just fine here, but you wanna get any dust out of the way to make sure you don't trap dust under there. Um, real quick, this screen, as you'll see, I'll take the protector out right here. One of them, I'm gonna stack them in here, all three of them. So we'll remove this up, this goes down first. It's a one-two process. Um, uh, this goes down and then this goes down. This is the part that goes down. But the reason you use the iPad screen is there's a hole here for the button, which fits perfectly. And then we're just gonna, this is gonna lay like that, or lie like that. And I'm just gonna cut this notch out right here uh, for the camera or microphone or whatever it is. We're gonna cut it at like a little bit of an angle just to make sure we can do it. Nice, boom. And then again, wide enough, perfect. And then, yeah, we should be good to go. Let's see if this fits. Oh yeah, perfect fit. So it's just gonna go right over the black, right over the edge. On the back end, it covers it really, really well. I mean, you could trim this off, you know, a quarter, half an inch, but I wouldn't bother doing that. On the front, it, it covers it just enough to go over this black tape in the front, but then we're gonna get our Captain tape, which I'll have a link to. This is the really thin, high temperature, um, tape that everybody uses and then you can just use high temperature thin tape metallic tape as well they you know it goes captain is as the i don't know if it's i think it's the brand name kind of like you call a q-tip a q-tip but it's really just cotton swab and then scissors so that's right i left that out you need you need scissors i use pink ones because i'm very secure and how manly and um uh you know masculine i am i don't i don't i don't question anything about myself ever so i i use pink scissors with pride maybe i'm bringing awareness to breast cancer month whichever month that is i don't remember but um either way yeah you need a pair of scissors they can be any color you want but make sure they're good 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 ones that work not like your kid's safety scissors or real torn up scissors captain tape and then these things for seven bucks so captain tape is like five or six bucks on amazon so this is all under 20 bucks that you can protect protect your screen with so i've got it lined up and again, on, on True Elite Geek's channel, he does a really, really good job of this. And he, like, you listen to the video, he's doing it in his bathroom and he, the lighting's insane. It looks great. And he just like, he's a, he's a pro. Uh, so I, I'm going to try this to the best of my ability and try not to mess it up. Uh, like I said, just a, moments ago, besides when I started talking about um, my weird pink um, scissor thing, 
There's side one and side two. Side one is where you peel this off and you connect it to the face of the phone, or in this case, the, the screen. Side two is we're gonna peel off the next day when this is already stuck on for 24 hours. But again, because I was fiddling with it a little bit, I'm gonna do one last dusting. Oh yeah, I mean this thing is, I just did the, I just finished the unboxing video of this, so this thing is like freshly out of the crate, uh, or in the crate for the box, the crate like box. I stepped away for a moment because I was looking, I used to have one of those cans of blowy computer spray stuff but I don't know what I did. I think I used it up. I didn't sell it to, you know, neighborhood teens so they could get high on it. Trust me, I just, I did something reputable with it, but I think I, I think I used it cleaning something else. So yeah, I mean, this is dust and particle free. We're in my garage where the garage has been closed. So here's what you do. Um, this comes with a little card. That's like a nice stiff card. You can use a credit card as well. We're gonna put this on, we're gonna start it here and then slowly bring it down and bring the card across the middle to chase out the air bubbles. Um, like this, you start, this is, oh, that's layer two. Oh, the wrong layer. Well, guys, I got so worked up about not finding the blowy stuff that I almost did the wrong thing. You wanna just unfold it, undo it like this, just to start it. You just wanna start it. You don't wanna undo it all the way. And hold your finger here as best you can. You have giant silly fingers like mine and just do the best you can in life and in this, you know? It's inspirational, guys. And then we're gonna drop it down. Uh, I'm, I'm holding tension on this to kind of like you know, get it as far over as I can. And I'm lining this up. On the, I'm not, it's not touching anything. I support it all the way across. Um, I'm, I'm pulling tension here with my fingers. And then I'm just gonna line this up the best I can to make sure that this edge catches when it comes down. So that looks pretty good, but I gotta drop the pressure a little bit. You notice, cause it's like that. And I gotta just gently start it. All right, I got initial, I'm just doing this very first edge, just very first edge. And it's okay if it doesn't fit perfectly flush. I mean, you want it to, but if for some reason you just can't, you, you know, don't feel like you failed in life or that you're no good or anything like that, that's not the case. Um, just gonna do the best you can do, just like you do in everything else, guys. Just the best you can do, guys. Um, and girls, ladies and gentlemen. At the internet. Okay, so we did that. Again, we've never, we haven't touched the screen, which I'm very proud of because I'm so clumsy. I figured I'd touch the screen 80 times right now. <gasps> it's starting to adhere, guys and girls and folks. So what we're going to do, my arm's in the way, I apologize. Um, I'm just going to take this and just smooth it down. Just smooth. You don't have to talk creepy like that when you do it, but it does help a little bit, I feel. I, this is my own for smooth. Yeah, it's a smooth baby. Let's do this thing. Talk to my dog the same way when I give it a bath, but not my kid because that would be weird. Um, let's see, it's going. Oh yeah, we only have minimal things, but it's not completely on all the way yet. And if you've ever had one of these things, you can get the air bubbles out with a little card, I believe. I'll try. Oh, that would be very sad. Now I'll wiggle these two air bubbles out. Come on, air bubbles, don't let me come after you with more force, because I will. I will. Okay, this air bubble is. Yeah, these air bubbles usually are the phone screens. I wish I'd done a little bit better job on this side. Um, but you, the, the trick is you rub them with a card and it, before it settles and they will come out. Um, sometimes they try and come back. So I'm gonna wiggle this to the edges as much as I can. Um, you know, like a, like a hero champion that I am. Really, I wish. Um, we're just gonna do this. So this, um, Gonna just do this to the edges. That tape sticks up a little bit, so you're getting, I'm getting some air bubbling more than I'd like to uh, around the edge of the, uh, reg, uh, ugh, around the edge of the thing, but that's how we go. I'm, I'm fixing it right now. There we go. Yeah. Just... So this is sticking up. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't, so here's the thing. It's a brand new printer, so I don't want to take this tape off because I think that'll, that's counterproductive to our goals, but here's the build plate. I'll show you the build plate goes all the way to here so we do have to get those air bubbles out around the edges there's like a some bubbling around the edge uh the rim so i don't want that so doo -doo 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 -doo. see this video is a nice supplement to um true elite geeks because he does his i he said he, he had three he was using the last sheet in his um thing for his for his demo video so maybe he had a couple fails as well but uh i don't know i, I just I'm gonna show, in real time, I'm gonna show you how I solved my problem of having this thing not be so flush. 
try and get these air bubbles out so we can get on with our lives. Using the edge of the car and taking it over to here. Oh, this one's bad over here. Not bad, but it's just annoying. It's like, I don't know how to get that out. There's two air bubbles. Oh. Um, yeah, it's bubbles. They say if there's small air bubbles, they'll settle over 24 hours. So that's why um, I, I, if you let it sit over 24 hours, hopefully the air bubbles will disappear. Um, I'm curious to see if that happens or not, but I'm also a little bit bummed because this thing is bubbling up more than I would have liked. So you know, I'll turn on the thing. I want to do an LCD screen test real quick with this bad boy um, or girl. Like I said in the previous video, I'm not sure what gender the printer is because we haven't turned it upside down. But I'm having problems and I'm, I'm sad. My LC screen test. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we're good, we're good. So there's bubbles, but if you look, see the screen, there's the screen. The bubbles are way around, they're around the edge of this tape stuff. So if I can get those two little air bubbles out, we're good to go. Like that's not, it's not, it's kind of a weird angle of light. But you see what I'm saying? Like the, the air, the bubbles are way far away from that. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this, um, or I'm gonna work and turn this off. And I'm not looking directly into it, so don't leave comments like, don't look into it, you'll be blinded. I know you'll be blinded, guys. I'm looking to blind myself. Making a how-to video. Plenty other ways in life I'll blind myself, so I'm sure. Um, but anyway, these two little bubbles, which are annoying, I'm gonna try and work on a little bit, but I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours. Let's let it, because we have two other protectors. Let's let this sit for 24 hours. See if the air bubbles come out. If the air bubbles come out, great. Then we're gonna get our captain tape and we're gonna tape off all the edges of where this was to, to make it tight. And then we should be good to go. So we'll be back in 24 hours to see if this works out. Okay, we have waited 24 hours and it is a brand new day. You can tell by the different color um, monochromatic sweatshirt that I'm wearing. It is in fact a day later. Uh, let's take this thing up, off, take a look. Uh, I almost screwed up. I started, I checked this for air bubbles and those two air bubbles we had here actually went away, kind of settled overnight. So that's nice. So it's a nice, there's bubbles on the side, but there's not bubbles. The square or the rectangle that the plate, that the actual light plate um, bed is in is, is plenty of room with no bubbles. Uh, I accidentally started, it, I took this off without making the video, but this was on here. I took it off instead of, the, I started on this end and then I peeled it up and then I took it off from this end because this end has a cutout. And then over the hole, I very gently took it off because I will tell you a secret about these protectors. They do not stick that well to metal and or the tape and or the screen. They stick to the screen the best, that's what keeps the air bubbles out. But this is a tenuous hold on, on, your, uh, on your metal and your, and your rubber at, at best. So that's what we're gonna, so what we're gonna do next is put down some Captain Tape, um, that's the brand name, but it's really just thin, high, you know, high, high, hint, high heat um, metallic tape to cover these three sides. The third side, I mean, you've got a good almost half an inch covering right here. Like if you have a vat spill, it's not gonna leak under there, but it could leak here, maybe here, maybe here. So we're gonna do a three-sided tape thing. The difference is this tape with um, from the electrical tape that's here, this tape is very thin. So just doing these three sides isn't gonna affect it. And it's still even, it'll be fine. But um, I, yesterday I recommended, you know, using the pink scissors, but then I thought about it. I did an unboxing video yesterday for this thing, um, or earlier this week. I used a box cutter. I put a brand new razor blade in this box cutter. We're gonna cut the, this tape with a box cutter because it, it cuts it much more, um, let's turn this guy a little bit so I get a better angle. It'll cut it more precisely because when you cut with the scissors, then you're holding this tape. Uh-oh, look out, I almost lost the camera. You're, you're cutting this tape like, and you're holding it in the end and the ends are kind of gross. So I'm gonna make the ends kind of gross with my finger oils and I'm gonna cut them right off. And then it'll be a double bonus, um, if you will. So let me find the, look, the tape's all kind of gross. I got it's got a dog hair in it. It's got, or I have white um, Labrador fur growing out of me. I'm not sure, but look, we'll do it this way. See, this tape is very thin. I don't know if it's really metallic, but it's thin and it's high heat. That's why you use it. It's a high heat tape. Ooh, it's like junk on this first few inches. So we're gonna go this way. Watch this. I'm just gonna bring it across. Seam here. Start it at one end. Line it up. Run our finger across very gently and gingerly. Boom. Perfect. Right there. Seal it down. Give a little push. Then we're gonna take our razor blade very gently. We don't want to scratch the, the aluminum. If you do scratch it, it's not like it's not the end of the world. But you know, just very gently gonna um, put your th thumb here to keep the tape tight. And we're just gonna drag our razor blade across and then put our finger down, 
pull this right off. Ooh, a little bit, of, it's a little bit imperfect. Let's, let's see if we can make it a little bit more perfect. How about that? Yeah, there we go. That's gonna be the ticket, right? Good, good news, this is a razor blade, so if you wanna get the corner up to get this off, do, 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 get it started, as they say. I don't know if anyone says, um, come on tape. Of course, when you're making a video, it's uh, hard to it's hard to talk and do little things with your hands, but um, at the same time, at least for me, because I'm not very smart, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's a nice, nice flat edge there. Put this extra piece in here. Come over here. I'm gonna cut it a little bit more aggressively. Oh yeah, take that. Oh, big slice, like a ninja. And boom, right there, perfect. So for this one, we're gonna do the same thing. Um, just because we have this little hole here, I'm gonna put it over. I'm not. I'm not really concerned about the hole, um, to be honest. But you know, we, since we're doing this, we might do it, do it well. Uh, it would. It'd be more for honestly, just to help hold down the fort, if you will, of this uh, of this thing. So I'll do one on each side here. Oh, should get a lot. Of, and this is kind of wasting a lot of tape. But this is not actually captain tape. It's like the generic heat tape off of Amazon or something. I'm guessing it's about half the price. But I've used it on all kinds of things like um, high temperature heat transfer. Um, presses and stuff it works as far as i can tell it works just as well so we'll go out past this uh piece cut it here take that off very gently oh nice even thing do, do, do. put the remnant there same thing we'll come out past this hold it down nice pressure boom right there so that's covering that little that little gap that little hole um and since we're here i'm going to put one on the outside to hold down the edge of the um actual plastics like i said this this uh this matte um uh, screen protector doesn't stick on here as well as you you would you would like you would think but it does well enough and then with the tape it's extra safety so with extra safety you'll sleep well at night i don't know if that's a real saying but um same thing i'm gonna switch right i'm left-handed but i'm going righty on this one. Oh man oh let's see oh i did it oh i'm ambidextrous everyone uh look at that and then I'm not gonna, this middle piece, I'm not gonna mess around and try and get that perfect because I don't, I don't need a third piece. It's not protecting anything, that third piece. It would just be annoying. Um, and yeah, of course my OCD is looking at that going, oh man, I really gotta fill that hole. But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push through it, guys. Uh, while I'm doing the second side, a commenter on, a, on Facebook and then a different one on YouTube said, hey, you're putting this matte protector over your screen. It's actually gonna like, you know, Dent, it's going to degrade the quality of the, of the of the light coming through because it's matte and not glossy. And I say that could be the case, although like the other videos and um, articles I read online said to use matte instead of glossy because it makes the FEP not stick to it as much, so it doesn't get suction and cause problems. Secondly, even if it degrades the, the um, if it degrades the quality of the light coming through a little bit and I lose a little bit of detail, detail I'm fine with that for now because this is a brand new printer. It's going to take me a week or two to make, you know, do a dozen runs to make one my, um, my, um, the, the little squares, you know, that you, to, 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 um, to get it dialed in for how much time, you know, each layer has to be. And secondly, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't, you know, this is a great machine, but it's brand new and it just arrived. 3D printers are notorious for always being kind of idiosyncratic and having their own quirks. Something could happen, the vat could break, it could spill, the FEP could be not in properly and I could have a big spill. I might as well run this for a week or two like this, do a bunch of prints, get it dialed in for, for how it works with this. Then in a couple weeks, I will take this off because I bought a packet of three, I have two extra ones and I know how to put these on now um after having done it uh i'll take it off and then i'll run it for a week and see how it does without and if there's any quality of prints and maybe i'll make a video make a video about that but for the meantime i'd rather be safe than sorry run it like this get a dozen or so prints under under my belt and then i can take off the safety thing because this is just for an extra thing of safety um you know 3d printers are expensive and you know money is not a thing you want to waste like a crazy person so that's my that's my reasoning. So I, I hear you on that. People that say it might denigrate the quality, but I think it's negligible at best, to be honest, from what I've read and seen online. And even if I lost a tiny bit of resolution, I'm just printing 3D minis. I'm not printing like, you know, pieces. Oh man, see that pulled the stuff up a little bit. It is sticky. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not printing pieces for heart valves or anything. So if it's not perfect, no one's gonna die. But if you're printing pieces for heart valves, you better print them exactly correct. So maybe don't take my advice on that. Um, let's cut this. Do -do -do below the protector. Oh, I'm doing double cuts, guys. Very fancy. Finger here, pull away. Oh yeah, professional. All right, so that's the, that's the one thing and then I'll do this one. It's This is a weird one because it doesn't even go past this. I'm gonna roll the dice and just let it be this way. I don't, I got tape there. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna mess with it. I think it's good enough. 
Uh, that's that's how I am. I have really grown as a person, especially through 3D printing. And I've learned to accept on things, especially when you're doing DIY stuff or home, you know, home brewing things like this. I'm not. I used to. Everything used to be perfect and symmetrical and beautiful and whatever. And now I'm like, hey, if there's if everything's lined up properly to where it's like functional, going to work, and it looks nice, and you know the tape's cut squarely, and I think it's going to actually benefit my machine. I don't have to put an extra piece of tape here, adhere to visually not freak out. Uh, which, which other times, even when I was younger, uh, and you might be this way, they're still this way, which is fine, because I used to, I used to totally like this. This would have to be perfect where I'd freak out, but it is perfect. It's perfectly aligned. There's no air bubbles. It's good to go. Um, so it's functionally perfect, and I think it's fine. Uh, and then again, this tape is so thin, it's not going to affect leveling the bed. And speaking of leveling the bed, that's what we're going to do next. Um, I previously, uh, this afternoon, I, uh, I made a video, I don't know, sure. but I, I sanded my build plate a little bit, just for a couple minutes. I did circles this way, circles this way, and then horizontal and then vertical, and now it's, the build plate is on here. I wiped it off with, I cleaned it off with, I um, sprayed rubbing alcohol, clean paper towel, rubbing alcohol, clean paper towel, and it took off a bunch of silvery stuff, uh, which is the, you know, the residue of the metal. So you might, you know, if you sand your build plate, definitely clean it off with something afterwards. Let's put the build plate in, screw her in. Now let's do a thing that uh, we all love to do called, um, the next step after this is, well, this is installing it. So I'll make it, I'll, the next video I'll make, and I'll, maybe I'll include it in this one, I'm not sure, but we'll make one, we'll, well, the next step would be to level this bed so then we can start printing. So let's do that in the next video.